Welcome to your beauty -o. We have new products. We have new beauty -o products. We have it here. We have a new scoreboard. We have a new product. Oh, I love getting new scoreboards. products. Last year, we had a new training set. We've had new fences. We've had new pitches. But this one, this is a scoreboard. And I'm not talking old scoreboard. And I'm not talking black scoreboard. I'm talking something new, something digital. I am excited, but first I must say, thank you so much to University Games for sending this over to me so I can give it a review, give it the throw once over. Great to see new Sputo products coming out. Thanks for sending it to me. Let's see how good it is. First thing I'm gonna say, this isn't necessarily about the product. Some shocking packaging, look. I've not even opened it and you can see it either side. Disappointing. Come down to the table. Let's have a proper look and see what new Sabuto scoreboard we've got. In fact, before we bring it down to the table, let's just unbox it because you've seen the green in there. Oh, I've come out backwards. Digital for the modern age, a digital scoreboard. Now, if you play Fistiff Sabuto or professional table sports or whatever you want to call it, this is the sort of timer you'll use to time your game. But you can also keep a score on it. Now, there's loads of different variations of timers you can use. Most of them are like a digital kitchen timer. I've got one down here. So this is what I use at the club. A couple of batteries, kitchen timer. Works like that. You know what I mean? Counts up, or you can set it up. Go the wrong way, and it counts down. That is it. Pretty boring, pretty rubbish. But now, we've got an official Sabutio one. Should we have a look at it properly? Should we come down to the table and have that proper look that I said about? I'm quite excited about this. This is cool. So in the shadow of the classic Sputo scoreboards, the old 60s, 70s one, the 80s and 90s one, here is, for the modern day, the new Sabutio scoreboard and timer. Two in one. Now, yes, there are a couple, I know someone's going to say in the comments, there are a couple of older scoreboards that are made like paper and card. Yeah, there are. There's also a cricket one as well, but hey, we're not getting into that. These are the classic ones, and this is the new member of their family. So let's get a knife and cut this open and see just what's in it. It costs, on Amazon and University Games, $17.99, which I'll be honest, is a bit expensive, but you can get it on Subutio World for $15.99 at the time of recording. Obviously, prices do change. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a bit bigger than I thought, and we've got instructions. Let's have a quick look at it first. You know what? I thought it was gonna be cheap plastic. And it's cheapish, but it's not as cheap as it could be. So it takes two 1.5 volt. Am I going to need batteries? Or are they in there? Blank screen. Should we turn it on? Little stand. Is there a little... Oh, there it is. It's got a little stand. This is perfect for modern day Sabutio players. On. Really? I have no batteries. There's no batteries in it. We need to put some batteries in. No. Is that a magnet? Let's have a look. Hang on, right, we're gonna get some batteries, but first let's just go through the instructions. So it says, Sputio official score for purple way of keeping track of game times and scores while you play Sputio main game with friends and family. Cautions, read before use, always move batteries, blah, blah, blah. Keep the points away from sunlight, blah, blah, blah. Do not allow, blah, blah, blah. Guideline, non-rechargeable batteries should not be recharged. <sighs> Obviously, but it's not got a USB port, so it's not a chargeable one. Okay, it is recommended to use but only batteries or the same equivalent type. Doing a mix batteries, batteries must be inserted. The supply terminals must not be short circuited. Do not mix alkaline, blah 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 blah. blah. Battery requirements three, vo three volt DC power supply, battery type. Where I can hear a timer going off, it's my old timer in the box. Hang on, let's get rid of that. Stop, that's the old time we had going earlier. So two, no, point, two 1.5 volt batteries, switch off the unit before changing batteries, always ensure screw, we need a screwdriver. And some, oh hello, here we go, how to use. All right, we'll save that bit, let's get some batteries in it, turn it on first, and then we'll work out how to use it. Hold fire. All right, screwdriver, batteries, let's do this. I bet I open this, let's turn it on top. I bet I open this and there's batteries in there that don't work. Sort of thing that would happen to me. Oh, screw's not quite undone. I wonder what this bit is, but it doesn't tell you anywhere. Could it be a magnet? Could it be something else? No batteries, right, batteries in. Good old Amazon batteries, in you go. One, two, battery compartment back on. 
what I'm doing is, so this product was announced ages ago. Well, not announced so much, but I saw people sharing it. We found it on Amazon as a hidden thing that was not available. Slightly different artwork to the box. I don't know if that one's maybe being released because this one, as you can see, is a University Games release. It's got University Games on the packaging. It's not released by any of the Spanish or Italian manufacturers. This is licensed by Hasbro. It's a beautiful box. Anyway, back to that. Right, stand her up. Here we go. The big test. I can't find a button. Whee! Right, how's it working? Because it don't look like it's touchscreen to me. So, or maybe it is. Who knows? Right, we've got instructions. I like that. It looks nice. Just on the side of a pitch, right? I'm sure it's really cheap. And there's not a lot inside it. But, right. Turn on and off. Done that. Press the set button to start setting the goal app. So, set. Oh, makes good noise. You hear that? Right, so, set. Press goal. Hang on. Press goal button to add minutes. So if we're playing this properly, 15 minute half. Yep. Press goal to add minutes and the right hand side to add seconds. We're not going to add seconds. To add time, the time must be flashing. Once flashing stops, you will not be able to add on additional time. If you wish to add more time, press set. And it will start flashing again. Yep. 99 minutes is the longest you can play. Once the time has been set, press SS, which means start, stop, and the timer will start counting down. Oh, nice, do that. The little whistle sound effect. Excellent. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that, that's brilliant. Oh, that's so cool. All right, once the timer is active, countdown will run down to clear reset the timer, blah, 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 blah. Okay, when the timer is in countdown mode, press go button to add at any time at one point when goal buttons be pressed the time will stop automatically the goal will be added to the scoreboard once the players are ready to resume press ss right so ready goal ready so i guess we press goal for this one all oh, right cheers too i like that light as well the light comes on and goes off so one one and then what do you have to press start again dear Okay, bit hard work having to press start again, but I suppose you're resetting your figures up. It's nice that it saves time. Should we have a go over it? Way! Love that, but can I give a goal now? The timer's not going, can I give a goal? No, so that's good. So you can't accidentally double tap or anything like that. Nice feature. Start it off. Go! Okay, time's up. So when the time's up, to indicate the end of the game, dispute your official scoreboard, we'll play a whistle sound and the time will flash. Right, so we have a look at this. Let's go back to set. Uh, I don't know how to reset the time. How do we reset? To clear and reset the timer, press the SS button to stop the timer, press the set button and wait for the timer to start flashing and then hold it. Right, so start, stop. Got to hold it. Is it that one? No, hang on. I can't work out how to reset. To clear and reset the timer, press the SS button to stop the timer, press the set button. And wait for the timer to start flashing. Then press and hold the set button while timing. It should reset. Oh, hang on. Right, start. So I stop. Press that and then hold it. How long do you have to hold it for? There you go. Right, I'm just going to test. I want to see what happens at the end. So, was it set? No, that's just added a goal. I'm adding loads of goals. I've forgotten, that's, that's a minute. Right, so you're going to have to listen to me talk. So set, start, stop, we're off. Okay. Oh. It's 5-1. There's not long left. Oh, light's gone off. Light's gone off. Have another go. Whee! Okay, here we go. What's going to happen? It does a full-time whistle. Although oh, no, it didn't flash. It said it was going to flash and it didn't flash. It only seems to flash when you touch it. But the full-time whistle. This is the best timer ever. See this one? Pants. Absolutely. This is what we're all using. Like You'll get versions of them. Um, you go to any sort of tournament, this is what you get. It ends. Sounds like your eggs are ready. Look. Rubbish. This is the future. Now, maybe the fifth... Oh, guys, go off again. Shut up. Maybe this £18, £15 price tag isn't so bad. What a product. 
Sabutio, you have done incredibly well. The haters are going to hate, but this is cool. Yeah, man. So this is the best Sabutio product. New Sabutio product that has been released in ages. Something real quick that I've noticed, right? Most Sabutio sets are 6 plus. This one actually says... 8 plus, or maybe that's because it deals with batteries, I don't know the legal regulations, but I thought this was going to be like that time of day in there and just done up with a score and the same beep, 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 beep. It whistles, three whistles at full time. It has a light on it, as soon as you touch it, the light comes on. You could do the score, it cheers when you do the score, it whistles you to kick off. This is pucker. Haters are going to hate. Yes, it might be a little bit too expensive, but this is cool. You can't deny it. That isn't the most, I tell you, the most crossover product, right? So there's the hobbyists, the people who just play perfect for them. But if you're going to a festive tournament, you're a referee or you're playing professionally, that is awesome. Maybe we should have these at the World Cup. Maybe the festive World Cup, this is what we should use for timing because this is brilliant. I absolutely love, I'll tell you what, I love it. It's absolutely brilliant. The one thing I thought that would be cool might save some money. I'm sure someone can do this because everyone's really talented with a 3D printer. 3D printing, something that you can put your phone in, but then I suppose if a modern brand was going to sell that, they'd have to make loads because you've got different phone sizes. Everything's different, but I thought that'd be cool. And then you could download that to go into it. But tell you what, this is better. Official scoreboard and timer. I absolutely love it. These ones are history, man. This used to be my favourite. Still is probably classic looking. But that is awesome. Still don't quite know what this bit's for. I don't think it's a magnet. Should we check it? Let me, let me find some metal. It's not a magnet. That was not magnetic. It's a magnet! So, hang on, look. Oh, my God! It's got a magnet! <laughs> what can I connect it to that's magnetic? This is awesome. This is the best thing. So, the only thing I can really... Oh, my God, look. That magnet is absolutely awesome. I'm going to turn you around real quick. One sec. Look, so the hinge of my cabinet. Boosh. It's a magnet. Absolutely pucker. So, Beautio, well done. This is your crossover product. This is amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Go grab yourselves one now. They're brilliant. It's the best. It's the new Subutio timer. And it's excellent. It's proper modern day. I'm loving it. <laughs> Fuzzy. I didn't know how it was going to be, but it is absolutely awesome. Jane at Amaze Marketing looks after University Games socials and Sputo socials. Thank you for hooking me up with this. I really, really appreciate it. University Games, thank you for throwing one of these at me for review. Ah! This is Parker. You guys are awesome. Best video product ever. I'll be back real soon. I've got some unboxing from Evo, which you might have seen in the background there. There's a few bits of it there that have got to be unboxed, but this is the review. It's got to be sent in there. I'll be back doing that sort of stuff. I've got another box down there on the floor that we're going to get out and find out what's in there. Loads of content coming. It's good to be finally at it. I think this will be like four videos in four weeks. Well happy with that. Hit that subscribe button. Drop me the thumbs up as well. Come talk to me in the comments on social media. And until we meet again, keep on flicking. Yeah!